Hello everyone, I'm Anisha Chakravarti from Molanazad Medical College, currently in 7th semester. And today I'm going to be talking about highlighting and bookmarking for the subject of pharmacology. Now the books that today I'll be referring to are Essentials of Medical Pharmacology by Dr. K.D. Tripathi and Review of Pharmacology by Dr. Govin and Dr. Sparsh. Now firstly, I would like to mention that any book that you are comfortable with when done in totality is going to be more than sufficient. I chose these two books because these were the books I was most comfortable with. Now I would like to be talking about how I underlined my book throughout my one and a half years uh, during my second MBBS. And I am extremely grateful to Prep Ladder for giving me this opportunity to share. Now, we all know that pharmacology is a very vast subject. It has lots of reasons, lots of contents, lots of uh, concepts, as well as lots of drug names to remember. Now, so it's very important to see about the information so that the night before the exam, we can effectively read them. Now, the first point I'm talking about in uh, regarding highlighting is that uh, many people tend to highlight the entire paragraph, but that's not what we are supposed to be doing. Always make sure that you highlight only those fa facts that you genuinely don't know or those facts which you think are going to be most relevant. For example, here regarding sublingual and buccal methods of administration, I think that rapid and liver being bypassed are the two main key points I should be remembering. Next, I would like to talk about the fact that uh, in this book, there are a number of paragraphs in which there are a lot of reasons given, but they are not in the form of points. So, uh, for example, if I have to talk about transdermal therapeutic system and the advantages of it. Now, I know that the entire paragraph talks about it, but I want to remember in the form of five easy points to remember. So, I will talk about point one, two, three, four, five. So, I make sure that I give my own points in these paragraphs which are not pointed. Next, I would like to talk about the fact that in this book, there are quite a number of paragraphs which also gives uh, big concepts, big reasons. Uh, for example, here they have talked about oral routes of administration and what are the factors which affect the oral routes of administration. This entire 75% of the page talks about the same thing. So what I have done is that above each topic, make a small gist point of your own. In your own language, small key points which will help you to go through this entire page very fast before the exam. For example, if I have to talk about the factors which affect the oral absorption, I'm going to refer to these six points which I have mentioned here. Then I'm going to talk about the fact that this book, they have a lot of tables, a lot of tables and a lot of differences. For example, the next point that I'm going to talk about is going to be tables. This book has a lot of tables. So uh, make sure that uh, you mark only those points in the tables which you genuinely think were different and which you think you will forget in the long run. Because uh, there are quite a lot of tables and it's not humanly possible to remember all the points. And most of the points will be those which you already know. So best is to mark only those which is uh, something that you think you will be forgetting. Then I would like to talk about the fact that uh, there are a few drugs in pharmacology which has very different actions in low concentration as high concentration and it becomes quite confusing the night before the exam to read through them. So make sure that regarding such drugs for example like dopamine, write a small note at the end of the chapter or just below the paragraph itself in your own language in which you are most comfortable with and uh, that will explain the whole concept of it in a few lines. That will help you uh, to remember it in a very uh, fast time. Then I would like to talk about the fact that uh, in this book you must have noticed that I have marked quite a number of paragraphs with star marks. Now uh, in our own professional exams we get quite a number of questions uh, which talks about give reasons why. So I while reading through the book mark those paragraphs which I think are potential give reasons why question. For example, if I have to talk about that why amiodarone does not have the potential to cause tosardis d pointers, then I think this entire paragraph will talk will help me suffice the uh, reasons that I need to give for that. Then, which I think is the most important part of reading pharmacology, are the drug classifications. These drug classifications, what I have done during my time is that I read them before starting the chapter, I read the chapter and then I came back to it again because this is the key point of the entire chapter. So make sure that you do not miss these classification at least for the important diseases which you know you need, those drugs should be on the tips of your hand. 
Another thing that I'm going to talk about is that the tables. Now, quite a number of tables, they have uh, these small keynotes below it. These keynotes are in small fonts and uh, they are very easy to miss during the exams. So make sure that you incorporate whatever extra information that you get in these small keynotes in the small font and incorporate it in, in the table itself so that the table becomes complete and it gives you a visual memory. Now I would like to talk about the review book which I had uh, followed. Now I would like to talk about the review book which I had referred to after I had done the original textbook. So uh, make sure that when you are going through any review book, it's only a supplementary information. So make sure that you mark all those points which you did not come across uh, your own textbook or which you uh, probably missed during your reading of the textbook. So I make sure that I mark only those points. Alongside, there were quite a number of new drugs in this textbook. So I try to make small footnotes and attach them at the end of the chapter itself. Now these are drugs which are generally new drugs or drugs which are rarely used. So I put them at the end of the chapter so that if I have to come back again, I can probably read them whenever I get time. So make sure that you do that uh, once you have originally finished whatever has to be done at your level first. Uh, then I would like to finally conclude by saying that uh, Highlighting is only a method to assist your way of studying, but there is nothing that can replace revision, note making and re-revising the note itself. So make sure that you do that before the exams as many number of times as possible in order to score well. Thank you and all the best to all the students.